in my first video on this layer series i said that we have to understand the two biggest consensus mechanisms in the blockchain to proceed with the rest of the series so we are going to look at what consensus is the proof of work and the proof of stake consensus mechanism their advantages and disadvantages and comparisons and as usual i will make it really simple i'll make it as simple as possible what you will do right now is to subscribe to the channel and pin the notification bell and like this video let's get started what is consensus consensus is a way a group comes to an agreement that a transaction made on the blockchain is valid without the intervention of a central authority so if i send bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet there has to be a way to confirm that i have that bitcoin that i'm sending to you within the bitcoin ecosystem and that i did not just manufacture that bitcoin there are two major consensus mechanisms we have the proof of work and proof of stake proof of work is the first and that is what bitcoin and litecoin are most early altcoins and ethereum use although ethereum is changing to the proof of stake consensus mechanism really soon to explain proof of work i will use bitcoin as an example and we will look at what takes place when i send bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet are you with me so when i send bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet what happened is that the bitcoin and all the bitcoin sent by other persons in that period will go to what we call the unconfirmed pool in the bitcoin network you can look at this as the waiting room what happened next is different miners will take a book which we call a block the size of the block is 1 mb and thus the total number of transactions we can record on this book cannot exceed 1 mb so they will start recording transaction from this unconfirmed pool into this block until it is full then they will compete to solve a puzzle the first miner to solve this puzzle earns the right to add his own block on top of the previous blocks in the bitcoin network he will also receive a reward in bitcoin at this point my transaction will have received one confirmation when another block is added on top of this block it will receive the second confirmation and so on this process takes approximately 10 minutes and repeats every 10 minutes the more the miners the more difficult the puzzle becomes the puzzle is difficult to solve but when solved can be verified by everyone just like a puzzle when you solve a puzzle anyone can easily see that the puzzle is correct or not these miners use very fast computers so that they can compete favorable as a matter of fact they use graphic cards like asic one asic can be 100 times faster than the fastest cpu and this consumes lots of electricity therefore it's called proof of work because work was done in confirming the transaction as can be seen from the electricity consumed this high number of miners competing to complete transactions makes the system quite decentralized and secured but at the same time this coupled with the limited block size the 10 minutes puzzle solving interval makes proof of work not scalable and quite slow Another thing is that the miners who won the puzzle and earn the right to add the next block ends in two ways. One, they earn from the block reward and they also earn from the transaction fee. The block reward is fixed according to how the network is programmed. But here is the thing. The transaction fees are not. There are usually more transactions in the unconfirmed pool that can fit into the block at the time so miners prioritize adding transactions with higher fees attached to them this usually drive up the network fee in a proof of stake consensus mechanism because if i want my transaction to be confirmed on time i will have to 
attach a high fee to it. If not, it will be confirmed when there are few transactions in the Bitcoin network, which may take days. I hope you got all this that I've said so far. If you don't, you can actually replay this video. This example I gave is not general across all proof of work network. It is peculiar to Bitcoin, but the concept and the principle is the same. For example, Bitcoin's block cycle takes about 10 minutes, while Ethereum, which is still proof of work, as at the time of making this video, takes about 14 seconds. Bitcoin can handle seven transactions per second, while Ethereum can handle up to 30 transactions per second. This is, however, nothing compared to up to 50,000 transactions per second in the proof of stake consensus mechanism. Other proof of work consensus mechanisms include Litecoin, Monero, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Dash, and so on and so forth. In summary, proof of work consensus mechanisms are decentralized, highly secured, not scalable, has high network fee, consumes lots of electricity. I hope you got all this. Let's look at the proof of stake consensus mechanism. The idea behind proof of stake is this. Instead of allowing everyone to confirm transactions, let's select a few persons and then rotate who confirms transaction at each point based on certain condition. Let us call this people validators instead of miners. With this, we can produce multiple blocks in milliseconds with much smaller fees. So, our proof of stake consensus mechanism is highly scalable. But wait, wouldn't it be somewhat centralized if only a few persons are allowed to validate transactions? Well, we can have a way around this. We can allow everyone to become a validator, but you have to stake a good number of your tokens. That is, locking up millions of dollars worth of your token in the network as an assurance that you will not go against the rules of the network. If you do, you would lose some or all of your token. This is why we call it proof of stake. For example, Binance Smart Chain has 21 validators. The validators themselves can change every 24 hours, but it cannot be more than 21 validators. To be electable to become a validator, you have to stake at least 10,000 BNB. This does not make you a validator. It only makes you electable to become a validator. These 21 validators are the top 21 wallets with the most stake and this is reviewed every 24 hours. Once you are electable, delegators can push you up to become a validator. So, delegators are those who might not have up to 10,000 BNB or have the technical know-how. So, they can delegate their BNB to increase the BNB count of a validator or of an electable wallet. Delegators share in the block reward of their validators. Again, this example is peculiar to Binance Smart Chain, but it is the general proof of stake concept. For example, Binance Smart Chain can handle up to 300 transactions per second, while Sonona can handle up to 65,000 transactions per second. All that proof of stake consensus mechanisms include Cardano, EOS, NEO, Polkadot, and so on and so forth. I hope you understood this very well. In summary, to compare these two consensus mechanisms, we can look at transaction speed, decentralization, security, transaction fee, electricity cost, and number of transactions completed in seconds. Proof of stake beats proof of work in having a lower transaction fee, negligible electricity cost, and more transactions completed in seconds. Decentralization can be given to proof of work and security is highly debatable. 
Beside these two consensus mechanisms, others include proof of work, proof of capacity, proof of identity, proof of importance, proof of elapsed time, burn, activity, and direct acrylic graph. Guys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you now better understand proof of work and proof of stake consensus mechanism. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section or join our Telegram group. We're coming on Discord really, really soon. And if you enjoy this video, kindly give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not, and pin the notification bell so you get updates on our next video. Our next video in this layer series will be about Bitcoin and what led to the creation of Bitcoin. I bet you you are really going to enjoy this. So I will see you in that next video. Bye for now.